Hello and welcome, and thank you so much for joining me today because I am excited about this video. Have you ever daydreamed about the beauty and makeup products you'd love to buy if you had unlimited funds? Well, that's what we're up to today, and I can't wait to find out the products you'd buy if you had an unlimited budget. So I hope you'll share those wish list products with all of us in the comments section below. Why not do a little daydreaming together? As you might imagine, the products I'm selecting are ones that are especially useful and important for those of us who are over 50. If this is your first time visiting this channel, let me extend a very special welcome to you and share with you a little bit about this channel's mission. We're here to talk about, test, and preview makeup and beauty products that work brilliantly for those of us over 50. And because I'm a professional makeup artist who focuses exclusively on helping women over 50 and who also had a previous part-time life as a teacher, I love to share with you makeup tips and techniques that work for us now along the way. So if this approach fits your interests and needs, I do hope you'll subscribe before you leave today. And I thank you so much in advance if you decide to do so. Well, all right, let's get this show on the road and have some fun daydreaming together. The first four products on my list are skincare related. After all, keeping our skin looking its best is the most important thing we can do to ensure our most beautiful look. I recently had the good fortune to try a couple of skincare products from a very well-known Hollywood skincare expert by the name of Shawnee Darden. If you happen to watch my April video focusing on my recommendations for Sephora's big April sale, you would have heard me recommend some of Shawnee's products. Shawnee is an expert esthetician who is considered the secret behind Hollywood's most flawless faces. She has a passion for simple but effective solutions, and she's earned her clients' respect and trust in a town where beauty, health, and wellness standards are, well, as you might imagine, exceedingly high. The two products I tried were her Retinol Reform and her Intensive Eye Renewal Cream. As I mentioned in that previous video, usually as soon as I even come near a retinol product, my skin gets flaky and dry and red. But using her retinol reform product was a totally different experience. It absolutely worked to help reduce fine lines and reduce the size and darkness of my age spots. But what really set this product apart is that it did not irritate or dry out my skin. It also helped even out my skin tone and my skin just looked brighter. I was really impressed. It also provides immediate benefits along with long-term benefits. I'd just order a lifetime supply of this product if I could. The other product was her eye cream, the Intensive Eye Renewal Cream. It took Shawnee two years to develop this cream, and it delivers nine age-defying ingredients, including peptides to plump and firm, silk tree extract to brighten, squalene to hydrate, and niacinamide to fight wrinkles. My eye area did look firmer and brighter after using it. She sells these two products together in what she calls her age to fine duo. Someday my hope is to use these two products together regularly. And there's a third product that Shawnee sells that's considered a real technology breakthrough in the world of skincare. It's the DC, and I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, LED mask called the Pro Mask Next Generation. After Shawnee tried nearly every LED mask on the market, she's sold on this Pro Mask Next Generation product, which sells for a whopping $1,900. But remember, we are dreaming here. It delivers three times more LEDs than any other leading consumer grade LED mask to target everything from acne to dark spots to wrinkles with a result of brighter, firmer, and younger looking skin. Now, I also definitely need some help in the neck area, so I'd also include on my list the Current Body Skin, the Neck and Deck Perfector. Now, let's move on to some makeup products. And first on my list are three foundations that I have heard so much about that I would absolutely love to try. The first is Giorgio Armani's Luminous Silk Foundation, which is an absolute cult favorite among celebrity makeup artists. It's won numerous awards and it has a silky, lightweight texture with a satin glow finish, which provides medium coverage and blurs imperfections. It's definitely at the top of my makeup wish list. 
And two other foundations, which I'd love to try, are La Mer's The Soft Fluid Foundation and Estee Lauder's Futurist Hydra Rescue Moisturizing Foundation. The La Mer Foundation is billed as both luxurious and weightless. It has medium coverage and it also has a price tag of $125. The Estee Lauder Futurist Hydra Foundation is more likely to end up in my cart at some point since it comes in at $45. But I do hesitate just a little bit with this foundation since it has an SPF of 45, which is mostly a chemical sunscreen. I tend to gravitate toward foundations without any sunscreen at all, so I can use my own physical sunscreen. Next, we're on to the products that really bring a smile to my face. And those of you who watch my channel regularly will probably have absolutely no trouble guessing what these products are. Yes, eyeshadow palettes. I absolutely adore the Natasha Denona eyeshadow formulas and would definitely put these four palettes in my cart. First, the all-natural Biva palette that's composed of 15 shadows in multiple textures, with shades that range from mauves and burgundies to warm grays and black. This is one of her more expensive palettes at $129. I love the fact that there are nine creamy mattes, two metallics, and four creamy powders. So this would be a palette that would provide a fantastic base of wonderful mattes. I'd also pick up the beautiful Natasha Denona Metropolis palette, which is also priced at $129. Hmm, there, there does seem to be a pattern forming here. This palette has an amazing array of 28 colors inspired by the New York color scheme of the 20th century. There are beautiful browns along with bold green and blue chromes, velvety mattes and sparkling metallic textures as well. The eyeshadows are beautifully vibrant and really ultra pigmented. And the third palette would be her newest palette, which is, I'm sure you've guessed it also, $129. It's her Circo Loco palette and it has an amazing color story. The 15 shades in this palette range from light pastels and highly vibrant pigments and pearls. It's inspired by the characters of the circus with three main color families, pinks, oranges, and blues with purples. This palette can be used to provide a pop of color with more neutral looks or to create an amazing colorful look when used alone. And the last palette is her number 28 palette, which weighs in at $239. It contains 28 pressed pigments, primarily in blues and purples. It's breathtaking. Well, I'm going to try to pull myself away from Natasha Denona's eyeshadow palettes now, although I just realized that I didn't mention her Lila palette. Well, that would definitely be on the list too. So, okay, let's move on to Pat McGrath's eyeshadow palettes. I've been eyeing her Mothership 4 palette, which has a gorgeous mix of 10 blues, coppers, and golds for quite some time. Well, now as difficult as it is, I'm going to go ahead and focus on some other types of makeup products. Four from Charlotte Tilbury. I've always been especially curious about her Magic Cream, her Magic Powder, her Magic Color Corrector, as well as her Airbrush Bronzer. And if any of you have tried any of these Charlotte Tilbury products, I would love to know what your experience has been with them. I've heard raves about her Magic Cream. It contains nine different oils and skincare ingredients, including vitamins C and E, rosehip oil, shea butter, camellia oil, aloe vera, bionymph peptide, not sure what that is, but it does provide smoother, plumper skin apparently, hyaluronic acid, and frangipani flower extract. And the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Powder is said to blur imperfections, veil shadows, as well as boost radiance. And the next four products are a real mix of different types of products. I would love to try two products from two clean beauty brands, Ilya's Super Serum Skin Tint and Kosas's Color in Light Cream Palette in Cool Pink. I'm interested in the Ilya Super Serum Skin Tint because this particular serum tint provides light coverage with a mineral SPF of 40. And it also contains the skincare ingredients squalene, niacinamide, and hyaluronic acids to even out skin tone and soften fine lines. It's billed as drying down to a neutral, dewy finish. I'm not sure if it would provide enough coverage for me, but I would sure love to give it a try. 
And if any of you have tried it, I would love to get your thoughts on it. The Kosas Color & Light Cream Palette in Cool Pink combines cream blush and cream highlight. The reviews indicate that it's super blendable and long lasting, so I would love to see how it compares with my other favorite blushes and highlighters. And what's unique about this particular blush highlighter combo is that you can purchase the color you're interested in in a lighter version or in a more intense color version. I love that concept. Well, now moving on to another brand. Although I do have Rare Beauty's Soft Pinch Liquid Blush in a light pink color, I would love to try another beautiful color in that line called Grace, which is a rose mauve. It's really an unusual blush color, and I think I need to just occasionally step out of my comfort zone and try a color that's not quite so predictable. And the last product is one I'm pretty sure I'll end up purchasing just because of the amazing quality of this brand. It's a collaboration between my favorite eyeshadow brand, which is Sydney Grace, and a woman by the name of Christine Milkey, who's the founder of a beauty product review site called Temptalia. And by the way, if you haven't checked out Temptalia, I highly encourage you to do so. She has done an absolutely amazing job with this site. They're creating three different palettes together with 12 shades in each palette. And I'm just hoping there'll be a significant number of mattes in one or more of these eyeshadow palettes. If there is, I will not hesitate for a hot minute to purchase these palettes for my eyeshadow collection. Sydney Grace has created my all-time favorite eyeshadow formulas. It's really interesting that somehow I've managed to come full circle back to eyeshadow palettes again. <laughs> Thanks so much for coming along with me today on this daydreaming journey focusing on skincare as well as makeup products. It was so much fun talking about these products and sharing them with you. And I'm really excited and looking forward to hearing about what some of your selections would be in the comment section below. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and please know that I'm wishing you much health and happiness, and hope you have an absolutely fabulous rest of your day. Take care.